I just got back from driving around Colorado to look for a ranch because I'm looking for land for sale. And um, the reason I was doing that is because I figure if I don't have any charges against me and YouTube has been lying about my, how many views I have, is that what's the case? So YouTube's stealing from me, is, is that what the FBI just told me? I think they did. Um, so does that mean I need to get a lawyer to sue Alphabet? And how much can I sue them for times my amount that they've been stealing? I don't know. The real question is how can we trust Google if they're stealing from me? Um, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, I, I think I'm about to get this ranch. And like I said, I'm gonna have a buffalo ranch and I, I actually think I'm gonna have a cattle ranch now too. And I kind of want to be somewhat sustainable. I figure after I've paid my taxes on the land and everything like that through cattle sales, I can then kind of donate the meat. And um, if the trucks are going out with, with meat, they can come back with vegetables. And I, I figure if I'm, if I'm exporting meat from, if I'm net exporting meat from the area, then, because uh, I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere, um, then I, I, I would... I would think that um, I could bring back in vegetables and then I could still have a somewhat sustainable com community. But the, the big idea is I want a compound. Like I want Camp David. That's what I'm gonna build because you know I can go buy a real estate and you know apparently Jeff Epstein didn't give me any money in his will. He never gave me his estate. He wasn't suspected of drug trafficking. I don't have a lawyer because I have no money because I'm completely crazy. But then he's talking to me like that. You would think that someone that thinks someone's crazy would tr talk to him in a different way. I'm talking about this FBI agent, uh, Brandon, that I talked to, who it sounds to me like he's a secret FBI agent who doesn't want anybody to know his name and he doesn't want anybody to know his identity. And so it's kind of like you got secret police all over the United States that are completely anonymous, that even when they have official interviews with you, they never tell you their name. They just show up with a badge, apparently, I don't know, and a first name. Uh, I'm trying to figure that out because I am an American citizen and this sounds like something Hitler would have in a fascist country. And my understanding is the FBI, they have this plan. They're gonna say, we're kind of like a corporation and we're trying to protect our corporate interests. That's why we murdered and framed the Austin bomber. And this is not a normal thing. This was a bad, this was a bad situation. Because um, eventually they're gonna have to talk. That's, that's my theory. Because the American people are not gonna allow this forever. All right, so uh, I, I, I'm gonna stop talking about that. I'm gonna talk about my compound because I've been thinking about it. I need two different bunkers with machine guns. One that's a long range, like, a, like, like probably, I would think like a 40 cal would be a longer range machine gun than a 50 cal. And they're gonna be entrenched like they're gonna be mounted, they're gonna be stuck there. Um, I And the whole idea is if I have a ranch that's near a main road where people drive down all the time because they're tourists in Colorado, then if, a, if like three of the cars suddenly turn off at my ranch, ram the gate and show up with assault rifles, then by the time that they actually get to my door, uh, I won't be there. I'll have either hopped on a snowmobile or a motorcycle gone up to the mountains, taken my position, and they would not be able to beat me without like a serious bunker busting bombs. That, that's the goal. Um, so like, I realize that some people think it's kind of crazy to be so security conscious, but you have to understand, um, I have reasons to be security conscious. I have enemies. They, no matter what you think about my relationship with the rest of the world and how it doesn't affect you as an American, American citizen, it does, and that's just a matter of fact. So anyways, this compound, I was thinking I want an office with two conference, with like two conference rooms where we can like meet around a desk, and then I want uh, two like lecture halls, but then I also want like a, a, a music venue, but I, I feel like that might be difficult depending on if you're getting approval from, from the state or not, but if you're in the middle of nowhere, why, why wouldn't they, uh, if not, I can just build my own. Like I can just not get approval, we'll just etch one out of the, etch one out of the mountain, kind of like Red Rocks and just have an outdoor amphitheater. But um, I do think it's gonna be pretty cold during the winter and that's why uh, I'd kind of prefer to raise buffalo for the most part. I feel like I'm gonna turn into, uh, like what is it? Uh, has anybody seen the movie Forrest Gump? A lot of people have, Americans have. And uh, there's this guy, Bubba Gump, and he's like, 
Uh, there's there's shrimp scampi, there's barbecue shrimp, and because he, he loves shrimp so much, he, he lists them off, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up being this guy's like, well, there's there's buffalo pizza, there's fettuccine alfredo with buffalo, you can have uh, buffalo chili, there's buffalo soup, there's buffalo burgers, there's buffalo steak. You got there those buffalo shoes, if you can make shoes out of your buffalo hides. You got buffalo hats. I'm sure there are a lot of other things we can make out of buffalo. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn into that guy. I'm going to probably start wearing all buffalo clothes to every meeting. Every time I do an international meeting, I'm going to show up wearing a buffalo hide. Not really. All right, so... Um, yeah, I'm sure everyone's kind of surprised by how I talk to the FBI. It's because I've known the FBI forever. Like, I, I, I've, like I, I was with an FBI guy every day for years. Um, and... Like, you might think he's just becoming famous now, but in my head, I became famous five years ago. So that's the best thing about me for, like, I feel like if you're a new famous person, you are more likely to screw up and be, and, and like, not understand, like, how nice you have to be to other famous people. That's the secret to being famous is always be polite and never be mean because the other famous person is a person and, and they will have a broken heart. But um, it also means that I'm not super uncomfortable having to go meet with um leaders of foreign countries because I, I mean, I'm, I'm so used to being like on the spot with people that make me feel kind of uncomfortable, you know, like people from the government. So yeah. All right. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a good 4th of July.